And I think about every 20 minutes, and I do this. Keep the back pressure on this solution. And just keep draining. Move on in. Should have never shaped shit like this. <laughs> but I got a full face respirator. Mask. It's just a clock that bad boy up. Um, precise. With precision. Now you can see how slow when they're going. Filter out our platinum solution. Literally dripping. That's why I got two. I wish I had a third filter. I would have had that on there as well. I think we're about, man, we're almost halfway. And see this filth all the way at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that gray substance in there at the bottom there it is. but had settled through well, hopefully that's not I don't know that can't be platinum that's just uh, stuff that got through the process, the process, process on our first Ripping in there. So we'll get this bad boy filled up. We should have uh, halfway 2,000. We should have about 4,000 milliliters. I'm guessing. At least. We'll see. Going slow. We'll be back. My makeshift laboratory. <laughs> we got almost 3,500 ml in there so far. Slowly, about done with this guy. Got the tape on the bottom of it just to help protect the glass. I had some. glass on it but this guy's going from here and over to the hot plate magnetic stir I'm going to add a little bit of copper powder to help protect all the base metal crap that's in there which will help precipitate our platinum out see a little bit of copper salt there and then some uh, copper sulfides we'll be using here soon that is a lot of solution I don't know if you can tell how big this is it's a big guy over a gallon so now we got the magnetic stir going we got about 40 let's say uh, 4300 
milliliters. We're spinning pretty good mixing. So we're gonna add some copper, fine copper powder. Now with oxygen present, it's gonna, the copper could dissolve in our solution. So we're gonna cover it up, cover it up and let this mix for a couple days in solution. And we're gonna take this up. Back with I you now added some copper, fine copper powder, to change the metals into metallic form. And it's basically just a dis simple displacement. And I'm hoping that with this mixing up, I got this sealed off to try to eliminate the oxidizer from the copper dissolving into the hydrochloric acid because if you have an oxidizer present it can dissolve so I'm trying to eliminate as much oxygen in there as possible so then it will reduce those metals into metallic form and hopefully only drop out our precious metals and we'll be left with at the bottom is with some copper and precious metal dust this here for a few days you see it's stirring pretty good we got a cyclone in the center there a little funnel and once we get this done hopefully all of our precious metals gonna fall out of solution I see it's starting to chunk up and mix around with the copper right now see those particles floating around Now I want to say that's our platinum metals, rhodium, palladium, and platinum binding to that copper is what I'm hoping and falling out of solution and turning into a platinum salt. And then once we have that, we'll filter all, we'll siphon all this out. So we'll be left with just this salt powder at the bottom. Not like that, <laughs> but it should be dark. It should be really dark in here, dark powder. And uh, we'll see what we'll be left with. Once we filter that out, we'll be left with that salt. I'll get some, uh, copper sulfate to dissolve the copper out of our substrate here and then be left with pure platinum